When I was a kid, there was nothing better than setting fire to stuff and blowing things up. Well, I'm with Richard Bailey, who's a man who does that for a living. Um, thanks to one of his inventions, he made it himself, and it's being used now and saving lives. Richard, tell us about your, your business and what you have here. Yeah, we have a product called the AVSAC, Aviation Sack, and it's come out of the need to deal with lithium-ion batteries on board aircraft. Good old Mr. Samsung, I don't, I don't know if I'm ever allowed to say that, but Mr. Samsung, when his battery started to go off, that was causing huge problems on board aircraft for safety. And therefore, we had to come up with something. So we came up with the AVSAC, very simple technology. It's a variant of one of our other products, which is a blast sack. And so from here on in, the products now, on, we've sold over 10,000 units, and they're on board 35 national carriers around the world. So it really, it really is a clever piece of kit. So it, it certainly sounds good in theory. So has it actually worked in practice? Yeah. Funnily enough, there's been 20 live occasions on various airlines that the AVSAC's been used, which also has stopped a diversion. A diversion is $400,000. Can you imagine that for a nothing cost, this has stopped that? So that's 20 times they stopped a diversion. You got the maths. So basically, using the, the, the sort of blast technology systems that you, you've come up with, you take whatever's going to catch fire on, and put it inside? Yeah. Well, the SOPs for lithium-ion batteries on board an aircraft, they'll use um, halon to take out the fire in initially. But you've got to cool down the batteries really quickly. So that's where this comes in. They'll take the, the hail on it, take, uh, they've got fire gloves, take that out of the cabin, put it directly into the avsac, that will then cool it down and they only put two litres of water in here and it's not gushing around, it's suspended. So that's the bit that works, that's the clever bit. Now if I can ask you as well about blowing things up because terrorism is an issue, devices on aircraft can make it, we've, we've been hearing about yeah. that. What can you do with that? <laughs> well, we developed a heavy duty uh, version for onboard aircraft, again and it then will do the lithium ion batteries. So you've got a, one product that does two things. The SOPs for uh, dealing with a, a, a device on board an aircraft is to take it to the back, back right hand door, stack carts on top of each other, and then take the seat covers off, and then put wet towels and drop down really quickly. So with this, we're saying you can still do that, However, you don't have to take the seat covers because the product itself will act as a neutralizer. If it did explode, it would be able to absorb all the explosive force in the bag, dependent on how big the explosive force is. But at 33,000 feet, you're not going to be a scientist. You're going to, do, you're going so, to do your best. Going back to my point at the beginning, you've blown it up and it works. I've blown it up and it works. <laughs> Believe Fantastic. you me. Thanks, Richard. Thank you very much.